What is going on guys? My name is the California Cougar and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire Team Blaziken Edition. So, last time we pretty much finished traversing most of the water routes and we're also here in Pacific Log Town, or as I like to call it, the Bora Bora of Hoenn. Because it's basically just a bunch of overwater bungalows. And we also started with or we started traversing the uh, routes 132, 33, and 34 which are just a bunch of water currents. So we started traversing those. So we're gonna continue that today. We're gonna go, we're gonna start with route 132. And although we finished most of route 132 I believe. Okay. We fought the swimmer already, right? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say we've We've already completed most of Route 132. The only thing we haven't done yet was pick up this rare candy here. <coughs> so yeah, that was the only thing we haven't really done yet on Route 132. We fought all the other trainers. We fought the guy with the Makahitas and the Choke, the Black Belt, the two swimmers. Alright, so now we're going to make our way into Route 133. Alright, so let's see. There's no trainers on that little island there. Wow, that has us going a long way, Jesus. Okay, so we do have a swimmer here. Let's see, I've got Manny up front. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. Yeah, we'll have to traverse these routes a few times in order to get through all of them. I believe we fought one trainer each in route 133 and 34. Alright, so we'll go ahead and use Strength on this Tentacruel. He is faster, which is unfortunate. But he's going to use Acid, which is not very effective. And Strength almost kills. I believe a Flail will finish him. Alright, there we go. Celio, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and use rollout on this guy. Because rock is super effective against ice. Oh, that's annoying. He's gonna use hail, which is kinda like sandstorm, except it's ice type. Hail also makes it so Blizzard has a hundred percent accuracy. But thankfully it doesn't matter because we just knock this thing out immediately. All right, and there we go. Okay, I don't remember if there's any items on this route. I think there are. But I believe you have to go to a different spot to get them. Oh, there's one here. Okay, well, we'll pick that up. I'm glad I picked that up. That would have been dumb if I had forgotten about that. Actually, is there anything over here? No, okay. Yeah, I think the other item items on like the southern part. Actually, no, I already picked that up, didn't I? Yeah, big pearl. I already picked up the big pearl. All right, so we actually have all the items on this on these two routes. So it's just the uh, it's just the trainers that we're looking for now. So we'll start off. We'll get on this way. Into Route 134. Okay, so there's a swimmer here. We'll fight him. Let's see what he's got. Alright. I think we fought one swimmer on each of Routes 133 and 34. Oh, this one's faster and he's using Bubble Beam. That's annoying. Wow, that did a lot. Okay, I hope this kills. Okay, thank god. Gyarados. Okay, I might be able to kill this. I'm intimidated, but I think a couple of rollouts will finish him. Okay. Okay, 
I know that's not going to kill me. That's going to do at least, that's going to do 40 exactly. Hopefully this one will kill. Oh, he just lived. Okay, he's using bite. That's fine. All right. We got through that, but just barely. And that'll be enough to get us to 41. Rapid spin. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, that's right. It's only 20 base power. That's honestly kind of weak in my eyes. So, I'm going to say no to it right now. Alright. So yeah, Rapid Spin's just kind of weak. Ooh, that's right, we have this swimmer. Alright. So we'll switch over. We'll go to Wong for this one. Actually, no, we'll go to uh, Ragnarok. Alright. Love disc. So she's looking for. So she's got some love disc. Looks like. All right. Yep. She's got a love disc. And we'll just use brick break. And there we go. Another love disc. Okay. Alright, there we go. And one more love disc. Now they're all just level 33 love discs. And there we go. Three hits, three dead. And that'll get us to 41. Alright. So. If we go down here, damn, that's going to take us up. Alright, well, I think we can come down here and just go here. And yes, we can. That gives us access to this little sandbar here. And this trainer down here is waiting for us. Alright, let's talk to him. Alright. So he's got him a choke. We know how to deal with those. And there we go. And another machoke. Alright, and there we go. So close. Not quite there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this guy we already battled. Alright, okay, so the last trainer's down there. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the route. Yeah, so at this point we'll just go back to Pacific Log Town and heal up. Alright. So we'll go ahead and heal up. Alright, so now we can go down to the southern part of the route. So there's a couple of trainers we have not yet fought. So yeah, we did fight that guy. Alright, Repel War off, that's fine. Usually we're not going to encounter wild Pokemon on the currents anyway. So, to access a certain point, you have to get on this water spot exactly. You can see it's just to the left of the upwards current. 
Yeah, so you'll want to get on this spot exactly to avoid that downdraft current. So there's a couple swimmers in Route 133, but you have to you have to go onto that current in order to fight this guy. So yeah, we will have to go back and fight those two swimmers in the south. But yeah, in order to fight this guy, you have to go on that exact spot. Alright, so this guy just has a couple Pelipers. We'll just knock them both down with Thunderbolt. We'll get up to level 41 in the process. Alright. Now, it's going to be an annoying little bugger with Protect. I hate fighting Pelipers. I don't remember how many times I've reminded you all. How much I hate fighting them because they just spam protect when they know they're gonna die. Alright. So we fought the bird keeper. I don't remember if I can get access to the next trainer. Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe. Let's see. If we keep going down south. Okay, so now we're in kind of a maze section. Okay, so yeah, we can fight this dragon tamer. Yeah, and yes, he is a dragon tamer. Alright. So this is the last trainer on this route, on Route 134. That we had to fight because we already fought that bird keeper in the previous episode and we just fought the other three trainers earlier all right so he's got a bagon it's just a dragon type weak to dragon attacks one dragon breath is enough and there we go okay so all we have to do now All we have to do now is we just have to fight those two swimmers in Route 133. And to get to them, you have to go to the south part of the route. So that's what we're going to do. And I'll use a repel, because why not? Alright, we should have enough repels to get through the rest of the game. These are the last water routes in the game, so... Yeah. Okay, so I guess no matter what, it's gonna take us up here. But yeah, we're gonna try and stick to the south. Alright. Alright, there we go. So that'll give us access to these final two swimmers here. On Route 133, we'll keep Icarus up front. Yeah, it's not a double battle, so you don't need two of your lead, you don't need your two lead Pokemon up, just one. Alright. So this swimmer has a Goldeen. Use Dragon Breath. Ah, oh, it didn't quite kill. It's gonna use Fury Attack on me. Probably gonna hit me five times. Okay, no, it only hit me three. Alright. Seeking. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is... I'm actually going to set up Dragon Dance. I don't know if this thing will outspeed me. Okay. So that's what, this is what Dragon Dance does. It raises our attack and speed. Very useful move for Altaria. Okay, so he's going to go for Fury Attack as well. Also going to hit me three times. And since we are faster, I might as well just go for the kill with Fly here. Nice, got the crit. And there we go.
Alright, and let's see. This will send Ragnarok out for this last trainer. Why not? I'm willing to bet that even though Flamethrower won't be very effective against these Water Mons, it'll still do a good chunk of damage. I've been expecting you, she says. <laughs> Why, because I just battled your friend who was swimming with you? Alright, so we'll just use Flamethrower. These things have weak special defense, so I, this could kill. And it does. Alright, Seedra, the evolved form of Horsey. Also, pretty weak special defense, so... I don't know if this will kill, but it'll do a lot. And it does kill. Nice. Yeah, Horsey and Seedra have very weak special defense. <laughs> no, please! Alright. Well, so yeah, we also have this big island down here. But there's nothing on it. There's no hidden items or anything. So it's kind of weird that they just left it there with no items. Alright. So now we're on Route 134. And actually, on this spot here, if you go surf just off the center... You'll end up in this spot here. And there's a dive spot here. So, we'll go to that later. But, that is it for all the water routes. There is one thing we can do, and let's see, I think, can we get there? Yeah, we can get there via Rustboro, I believe. So yeah, there is one thing we can do. So first things first, we'll heal. So in case you don't know, we picked up, or in case you don't remember, we picked up the HM for Waterfall back in the uh, Cave of Origin. And you can use that after you beat Wallace. So what we're going to do here is I caught a Waylord. I also caught a Relicanth. Ooh, he's got a green shard. Okay, I didn't know he had an item. So yeah, I caught Waylord and Relicanth for a specific reason, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Who do I want to leave behind? I guess I'll leave. Actually, do you need strength? I don't know if you need strength. Let's see. I'm gonna look this up real quick. Do you need strength to get into parts of the area? Okay, surf waterfall, surf waterfall, surf waterfall. And then I know there's trainers. Let's see. Okay, yeah, just surfing waterfall. Alright. So yeah, we'll put Manny in the bench for now. Just because I think he's going to be the least useful. Yeah, so we got our team healed. We've got a Waylord. I taught it. I already taught it Waterfall. I caught it off camera and taught it a bunch of moves. Oh, that's right, I forgot to register. Yeah, and I also forgot to register the Mock Bike again. Yeah, I had previously registered the Super Rod because that's how I caught the Whalemur that would later evolve into Waylord. So yeah, Whalemur evolves into Whalelord at level 40, by the way. I caught it at level 38 near Pacific Log Town. So yeah, I caught it just off I caught it at in Pacific Log Town, actually, near the Pokemon Center. I just fished off the side of the raft and caught it. Alright, so if we go to Meteor Falls. There's a couple things we can do here, now that we have Waterfall. So you want to surf here, and then come up to this Waterfall, and yes, again, you need to beat Wallace in order to use Waterfall, but yeah, if you come up here, there's a whole new area we can explore. So we'll explore this area first. I guess we'll go down here first. So first things first, you can pick up TM23. This is the TM for Iron Tail. 
Steel, pretty powerful steel type move, but not very accurate. It's a decent move if you want to use it. So now we can go here, and we've got this older couple here. So I think Icarus and Ragnarok will be good for this fight. Yeah, I'm going to keep them up front. I'm also going to save just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, it took me a little while to train the Whale Lord up, or train Whalemer up into Whale Lord. I had to grind on a bunch of other wild Whalemers and Sharpedos, because it was the best Pokemon to grind with, <laughs> or to grind against. Alright, so these two have a Metacham and a Hariyama. I definitely want to take out the Metacham first, because it's a Psychic type. But one thing we can do is we can use Earthquake. And I'll go ahead and use Fly on the Metacham. Okay, he's using Protect, that's fine, because Fly's not going to hit him this turn anyway. And I can use Earthquake because it doesn't affect Icarus. Yeah, Earthquake hits everybody on the field in double battle, so if you're going to use it in a double battle, it better be against a Flying type. Oh, he's using Rock Tomb on Blaziken, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Alright, well... I don't know if this thing has thick fat, but I think Brick Break will do enough damage to take it out. Damn, doesn't quite kill. Oh, this thing has Psychic? Okay, well at least he used it on Icarus. Thank God. Alright, so yeah, I definitely need to kill this Metacham. <laughs> okay. Please kill. Good, okay. Good to know this thing has Psychic. Wait. I gotta make sure I use that on Metacham and not on uh, Altaria. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. And he crits me and kills me. That's fantastic. Oh, this game. This freaking game. Um, I guess I'll send Rex in. Congrats, Rex. You got experience for doing nothing. <laughs> That's really annoying. Okay, well, I'm gonna heal here. I don't think that Psychic kills without the crit. Metacham has terrible special attack. I do not think that kills without a crit. Well, I'm just gonna heal up here. Use a couple lemonades. Alright. Okay. Alright. So there's one other trainer here. And there he is. I'll talk to him, confront him. Yeah, this is the only other trainer here, I believe. And he's just got an Altaria. We also have an Altaria. We'll just use Dragon Breath. To do some damage to him. Wow, it's not going to two hit. Okay, safeguard's fine. That just means Dragon Breath's not going to paralyze him. Which is fine. Damn! Well, he's going to use Dragon Breath on me. Thankfully, I didn't get paralyzed. Alright. So this will take us to 42. Alright, and then he's got another Altaria. I'll just switch over to Columbus. Alright. So we'll just use Ice Beam on this. Knock him down immediately. Alright, there we go. Okay, so... Gotta make sure I'm going to the right spot. I think I go here. Alright, yes. I do go here. So we'll go ahead and surf this way first. And you can pick up a PP up here. 
And then there's one more item we want to grab. Okay, my repel just wore off, so I'm going to use a repel here. Alright. And if you go up here... Alright, so in this area, this is where you can find Bagon, the Pokemon we fought with that, or that the Dragon Tamer had. You can also pick up TM02. This is the TM for Dragon Claw. And we're actually going to teach that to our Altaria right now. So we're going to teach it to Icarus. And we will go ahead and get rid of Dragon Breath. Because Dragon Claw is basically a more powerful version of it. Although it doesn't paralyze, that's the one downside. But. Yeah, the other moves I feel like I can use better, like Dragon Dance and Sing. Yeah, Sing will be useful for, like, the Elite Four. Alright, so that is it for Meteor Falls. So now we just gotta get out of here, actually. Do I have an escape rope? Let's see. Oh, no, I don't need an escape rope. I have Armaldo. <laughs> I keep forgetting you have Dig. Alright, so unfortunately this took us to Route 115. I wanted to go to Route 114, but we can just fly up to Fall Arbor to get there. So yeah, there's a few waterfalls that we can climb now, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to climb some waterfalls. Meteor Falls is just the first. I believe there's a waterfall we can climb here as well, and we can see it. So if we climb this waterfall... We can get an item here. And it's another rare candy. Alright. So that's all we can get here. So now, we need to go to Mauville. Alright. So if we go to Mauville, and I need to get the Acrobike. Because we do need the acro bike for this next section here. So now we can fly over to Fortry City. Alright. So we can fly over to Fortry and come into Route 119 here. Cannot control this stupid bike. Okay. So now we'll come up this waterfall here. And actually, I'm going to switch out. We'll go to Rex. Because I think there's a. I don't know if there's a trainer up here, but yeah, you can come up here and there's a couple more items. So yeah, a couple Hondu berries. Alright. Let me make sure I'm getting all the items here. So the berries were one thing. I think there's a hidden item somewhere here as well. Although I could be wrong. So yeah, this is what you need the acrobike for. Alright. Alright, so there's another Kekli on here. Alright. So it is raining. We'll just use ancient power to knock this thing down immediately. Ah, oh, it didn't kill him. Alright, well no matter what I use here, this should kill. Alright. We'll just use facade, and there we go. Yeah, I've already captured Kecleon, so I don't really need another one. Kecleon's super rare in the wild without the Devon Scope, so I'd highly recommend it. Or catching one. Okay. Okay, supposedly there's a nugget here, but I, I don't see it. There's a secret base area. And if you come down here, 
There's another rare candy. So, yeah, a few more rare candies. And I believe that is the only other waterfall item that we haven't gotten already. We can check to see what's up here, but I don't see anything. Okay, yeah, there's nothing up here. Alright, so at this point we'll just fly back to Pacific Log Town. And we still have Whale Lord in our party. But yeah, I'm going to call it here, so we'll go ahead and save the game here. I'll heal off camera and grab Relicanth and all that. So yeah, make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more content to come in the future. And stay tuned for the next part where we will do something with Relicanth and Whale Lord. So stay tuned for that. And until that next episode, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember, stay California cool. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>